Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. I'm Adam, and we're going to do a nice opportunity tutorial on uh, audio envelopes. So this is for Vegas Pro 16. I got a movie studio version coming out as well. So for the uh, way to do audio envelopes, first off, what are audio envelopes? Well, they're these. You may have never seen these before. These are actually really convenient when you need them. So let me show you. Let me turn down my desktop audio a little bit so that way when you hear my voice and the pop, hopefully it won't hurt your ears as well. First, I'm going to turn these off so they're out of our way just for a minute. And I'm going to show you how to turn them on in a second. So <clears throat> if you listen, unbox and review Maki Koro. I got some audio work to do on this thing. My mic's buzzing a little bit, and look at this. So I had to turn up my audio a lot because uh, it's, I record it pretty quiet to get rid of the room noise. Box. And, but when I slam that box down, it just, look at those envelopes. I have like non-existent envelopes. Box. And then, when I say envelopes, I mean peaks. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's just boom compared to the rest of it. Like, the rest of it is so small. I'm going to have to, it's already artificially turned up. And my box. And review. But that is just so loud. So I don't want to have to turn down the whole thing or start cutting up the audio and everything just to get rid of this one bump. So I can turn on audio envelopes. And you go insert uh, uh, audio envelopes. And then you can select volume. And so you can do this with uh, pan and mute as well. But we're just going to do this with volume. And then you get a line. Now this line right here is zero, and it has to do with the volume of your track over time. So what you can do is right click and add a point, and then look at this. Now you have a point here at the beginning, and then it slowly fades to here, and now the volume is much lower. You can also raise it past that original point and artificially raise the volume with these envelopes. So it gives you some headroom on both sides. So what I'm going to do with these, and what a lot of people do, is they'll use them for fading, slowly fading in or slowly fading out of music while someone's talking. It's a nice, easy way to kind of tweak your audio on the fly a little bit and make it less noticeable. Um, what I'm going to do is right-click, add point, and I'm going to right-click, add point, right-click, add point. Now I have four points. I'm going to scoot this one very, very close to my event there and then leave this one at the end of my event and then I'm going to leave this very very close I want this to suddenly fade down and then suddenly fade back up so I'm going to make a little box for it see I make this fade down so much now let's listen to it I'm still peeking if you look over here every time it turns red I'm peeking if it if I have it I can show you what a big peak is Look at that. That peaked by 11.8, and that one on the uh, right speaker, 11.7 decibels. That's a lot of peaking. So uh, I'm going to turn it down 12 decibels and see what happens. And, ooh, see, that one didn't peak. I finally got it to where it wasn't peaking. So it's so loud. It's just so loud. But, and so, but now it's subtly not so loud. So that's very helpful, uh, a great way to, to do some on-the-fly audio fixes. See, if you look throughout here, there's a couple of spots where right there and right there, right there, where I just can't help but slam the table. And using audio envelopes is a great way to fix that. Thanks for watching. Uh, we have lots more tutorials on the way. I know some of you guys have asked for a keyframing tutorial, and you've asked for a sky replacement tutorial, and I'm working on both of those as well, and I'm also currently working on my Udemy tutorials, and I'm trying to crank all this stuff out as fast as I possibly can. This is a uh, Maki Koro review on our gaming channel, which you can find leaked from our channel if you're interested. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.